Yo, what up, money gamers? We're back with another recap. Today is Sloth Part 2 for Bren's Money Game, and they came out with a crazy one today. This was really, really fun. Uh, this is not gonna be like any of the other recaps. Uh, there's no real way to recap this one, and I'll show you why. So let's go into our screen. Let's watch the uh, video first. This is what popped up when the timer restarted. Sim 4, Sloth. Rinse and repeat, reruns, repeats, time lost. Karl Marx once said that religion is the opiate of the masses, a way to justify or seek refuge from the onslaught of suffering which plagues our lives. In a time where faith in the divine dwindles, our new religion becomes entertainment, our idols become celebrities, the television is our god. Repeat. Repeat. Replay. Retweet. Keep scrolling. Reloading. Controlling. The sheep. We medicate with monotony A self-performed mind-numbing lobotomy The antidote to our 9 to 5 is served up with synthetic quality We love to be distracted Please take my subscription fee God forbid I use my time here to explore in and outer space It's my God-given time to waste The human mind has more potential than any creature on planet Earth We constantly come up with new ways to insult that potential so there's our clue right there, Ren.tv, Ren makes Twitch. Uh, as far as I know, there was no other clues in there. We got Proverbs 13.4 13, that went to a Bible verse. But basically we all just went straight over to Twitch. Um, when Twitch first started, this uh, riddle was on here. Often I will tell a tale of things you'd never believe you'd see. I offer you the deepest insight, but you barely remember me. What am I? And a lot of us immediately put dreams into the chat. When we put dreams into the chat, uh, as well as, uh, it started to activate the live stream. So the live stream was, I'll show you in a second. When I record the Twitch, uh, when you record the Twitch VOD, you do not get the polls or the comments from the uh, that pop up on the screen. So I took a few pictures during work while I was watching this happen, and I saved them. These are like some of the polls that were happening, like eat crisp or turn on a TV, more press ups. Uh, what's next? Open the drawer or do five press ups. So we basically, I'll show you now in the video. <laughs> This is a 17 minute video taken out of a 48 minute video. So it's basically just going to be showing you what was going on. Like there's a lot of waiting in between while we took the polls and the votes and a lot of conversation and a lot of trying to figure stuff out. So let's just get right into this. Where do I have it saved at? Um, here. So this is our recording of the Twitch. This is what happened when we put in dream into the chat a bunch of times. This alarm started going off. And of course we're looking at everything on the wall. I think there's people sending feet pics to um, the pig bay account. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I, I sent maybe one of yours. Yeah. Well, it's just a pig, it's not a person. Just send them to a person. I mean a pig. I'm sure you're not going to look at a pig. Love you. This was when we uh, voted to have him flip off the camera instead of standing up. <laughs> and we made him eat some cheese puffs. Oh, cheesy puffs, man.
What a sport Victus has been. <laughs> He's really been making this game so much fun. So I'll point out while we're watching him uh, devour these cheese puffs, right up here in the top, owl pig and a, a word that's cut off, which a lot of people think this says fish. I initially thought it said cash cow pig. Now we made him drink some water. This fish cow pig is ultimately how the game ended. I'm not 100% sold on it. He gets mad every single time we give him the wrong clue, I believe, but we never caught on and it was kind of fun to uh, make him do push-ups. And, and there was thousands of people on the Twitch channel, so there's literally no way to really organize what we should be doing. Once those votes start going in, it's just... So he gets really upset at that part. So I don't think we were supposed to make him do push-ups. I think we were supposed to make him, like, do sloppy shit. I think we made him turn on the TV. He was cool with that. Tell the remote didn't work. I feel you, dog. Kinda edited this video in fast forward so everything seemed like it was going by a lot faster. I think we told him to use his phone, but then the phone was disabled. Push-ups a few more times. Now this is when we made him look in the drawer. All right. So he's gonna pull out a book and a knife. The book is uh, 1984 Orson Welles or whatever it's called. And I think we were still stuck on doing the opposite of what a sloth would do. So instead of making him grab the knife, we made him read the book. And the reason why I personally was thinking that um, it wasn't the correct answer to do is A, because he gets really pissed off that he has to read, and B, because the next, uh, right after that, they made us do the knife again. <laughs> so you're kind of leading us into the right direction. I don't know if I edited it out, but he reads the book for a second and then he throws it. So I think the wrong answer is he was trying to give us body language of what was not correct. Then we made him do push-ups again. He got pissed off. So we made him do more. He probably did about five sets of these. <laughs> we were trying to break him out of the sloth routine the whole time, and I do not think that was the right path. <laughs> I 
So he's got the knife again, and then uh, we made him cut the cake. Inside the cake is a clue. Which we immediately thought would open the safe. I think the choice was open the safe or open the phone. safe. So then we had him open his phone and I believe that it worked. Maybe we... I think after that we told him to call Uber Eats or something. Hello, you've reached Uber Eats. We're unable to process your order due to your credit limit being exceeded. Fatty, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I made him do some more push-ups. Clearly pissed off. Clearly probably not the right path. Then he gets a phone call. Hi, it's Tony. Yeah, I'm just calling because I wanted to check whether my stuff's still in the safe. Code 8432. Also, I need someone to come pick us up tomorrow so we can go there and grab it. Alright, cheers. Thank you, mate. I didn't record the uh, chit, uh, Twitch chat just for people's privacy or whatever, but you should have seen how fast that shit was going. So here he's showing us some animal heads. I believe that's supposed to be a cat. That's supposed to be a rabbit. But that is definitely a rabbit. It's the monkey. So what he does is we vote on which one we should pick, and then he brings it and puts it on the wall. Then he goes to the next stack, shows it to us. We pick which one we should vote for. We vote for which one he should put up on the wall. And at this point, I think we were just totally guessing. I believe that's a sloth. That is a bear. And that is a cow. But there's also a cow drawing on the back of it, and I think it's better.
See, that's the sloth, and the other one I don't think was a sloth. I don't know. Maybe there was two sloths. We got it wrong, so then we voted again. We went cat, pig. See, so that's the sloth drawing, and the other drawing, I believe, looked more like a duck or something. But they called him they called it a sloth when we did the voting. So I'm not sure. So he tries to open the door, it doesn't open. So this to me, I, I, I feel like it, it's just a whole interactive experience. It was a lot of fun watching the chat just go crazy, everybody coming up with ideas. We were on voice chat and uh, Discord as well. Some people were thinking that the whole thing was a... See, that does not look like a sloth to me, but we kept calling that a sloth. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think any of it mattered. I think it was all about the interactive experience and it was going to take us around an hour, no matter what we did. And I believe somebody said fish, cow, pig because of the ceiling and Ren pinned that into the comments. So we were very, very stuck on fish, cow, pig, even though there's no fish in any of these drawings. that we picked Sloth. He's gonna try the door again. So I think throughout the whole thing, we, we really had zero strategy. Uh, it was just guessing and it was really fun. It's really fun to, like, control somebody. <laughs> it's so weird. I think this one was switch the sloth and the pig, because one of the pig lasts, because I think at this point we're pretty stuck on fish, cow, pig. And then I think we have them swap the sloth for the cow. crazy part is when I'm watching this now it feels like such a long time for each thing but I'm telling you when you were in there and the chat was just going like I believe they had slow chat on and it still looked like a freaking auctioneer's teleprompter 
I think we voted to turn the rabbit sideways because on some people's planet, I don't know which one, a rabbit sideways looks like a fish. So now we have fish, cow, pig. That should open it up if this theory is correct. And no, it doesn't open again. So now we're going to switch the cow and the pig. And we have the sideways rabbit that does not look like a fish up on the top. Try it. Oh, look at that. It opened up. Now our password for the day is right there on the door. It's Snorl4x. And he is free. Just close that. And we'll go down to here. So see, these are some of the uh, poll questions. And there was probably... 40 of them throughout the thing. I mean, it was it was really fun. If you look how many people were voting, it was really insane. Um, half of the chat was saying they couldn't get the polls to pull up. But there you go. There's your password for uh, Sloth Day 2. And you put that into, you put your store lax. Let me see if I can, I can't copy and paste this from here. Maybe from here. Copy this, put it into your money game, and then submit it. And you'll be able to enter your email address and then start the quiz, and you can go on to your 10 questions. There's already a winner, and I had a screenshot of it, but I did not put it on here for some reason. The winner was, let's just go find it. It's already been a long ass video anyway. There you go. Everyone, congratulations to Vox for winning today's sloth challenge. You get 1,000 pounds. Tune in next time for Envy. So we found out our next our next sin is Envy. There will be two parts for that. <clears throat> the first part will be Jake's part that is like super cool coding stuff. And then the second part will be back to Rand's, which is usually pretty interactive. And uh yeah, there's not much more to say, but, uh, oh, I did want to bring this up. So, if you go to Twitch, let, let, me, let me go to, my, I'll show you how to, so when you go to Twitch, if you follow Ren or search for Ren, you can go to his Twitch, you can go to his last stream, and you can actually watch this. So you'll be able to watch this for 14 days before the Twitch VOD gets uh, deleted. And if you rewatch it, you'll have the chat over here on the side so you can kind of get a, a hang of what the only thing you can't see is it's not going to show you the polls and it's not going to show you what Ren is typing and stuff like that. Um, any of the messages. So when he pins something or the poll pops up or the riddle pops up, you're not going to be able to see it. But it, it is fun to watch and, and you can get a <laughs> I mean, this I'll show you the chat just for a second how fast it was going. This was right at the start before anybody got in there. This is on slow mode, so you cannot type uh, for 30 seconds after you send a message. And it's pretty nuts. But it was a lot of fun. It was really fun interaction. It was a fun uh, just watching everybody try to figure out what this was. And I feel like we had zero clue there was no time to really research anything because it just the first video sent you to uh twitch but he did mention sheep in the video there was a duck that pops up onto the screen i think that that thing was a duck and not a sloth and i think sheep was one of the answers and i think duck was one of the answers but it didn't matter i don't i don't think it mattered at all i think it was just 100 percent interactive um and it was fun it was really fun and we got the password and somebody won a thousand bucks and now we get to wait for tomorrow 10 a.m pacific time 6 p.m uk time i don't know what that is for anybody else but uh i hope to see you guys there
Peace.